Hi, my name's Paul Church from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Welcome to another edition of YouTube Tuesday. Today, I'm going to introduce you to our brand new Christmas Aperture Collection dies. We have the Christmas Deer, the Christmas Doves, the Christmas Santa, the Christmas Stockings, all of which have been designed to work perfectly with our nested circle die set. Right, okay. To start off with, what I'm gonna do is bring in my die cutting machine. So I've got my plates, and I got a really good tip from Dee Paramore. Um, for those of you that have got various die cutting machines, um, you'll notice that when you cut into them, it can leave marks. Now, when you're working with dark card, it can leave the fibers embedded. So if I was cutting on black card, I could get some of the fibers in there, and then if I put the white on top, it can sometimes pick up. So by using one of these poly pocket bags on top, it helps protect that. So we're gonna take one of our little five by five card blanks, and then I'm gonna take my Santa die, positioning in that cutting down, and we're gonna take some low tack tape just to hold that into place, making sure that Santa's the right way up, and then we'll finish off our little sandwich of plates. Now all die cutting machines are completely different in relation to the sandwich combination. I love using the Gemini. Um, so it comes with full instructions on the various plates that you use. But you know what, each machine is different so you'll get used to what you need to use. So here we go, the big reveal. So I'm gonna open up my sandwich. I'm gonna carefully remove the low tack tape. Gently does it, there we go, we can keep that. I put that on top of the machine so I can use that again later. And then you'll notice that as I lift that off, the die just falls away from the card. So I've got my little waste box underneath. And then I'm just gonna push out very, very gently. I mean, look how much detail is in this die. So I'm just gonna take a pen just to help push out those tiny little bits. You can actually give it a flick as well. There we go. Get rid of that little bit in his paw. This is where I need my pokey tool. But you know what? I'm gonna use my bit of card. There we go. See, and for me, that's the quality of the die, being able to push out the little bits um, and not spend five, 10 minutes trying to get rid of it. So there we go. So we've got our design cut out nice and simply. And then for the die, if you just give it a tap or a flick, because our dies have a special coating on, it just means that all of the card falls out nice and cleanly, okay? So you haven't got to spend 10 minutes poking out all the little bits and pieces when you can be getting on and making another card. So we'll pop that to one side. And then the next thing we're gonna do, if I bring in my finished sample, is I'm gonna create the ring around the outside. So I'm gonna use some of our um, petite designer card toppers, and I'm also gonna use a piece inside. I think this piece is beautiful because it actually highlights Santa's face perfectly. Okay, so we'll bring in my nested circles, and I'm gonna go with these two here. And we'll put Santa to one side, bring my plates back into play, and I'm going to take a piece of designer card. So let's have a look. Ooh, decisions, decisions. I think we'll go with the red one. We're gonna give it a different frame on the outside this time. So again, sandwich combination is my clear plate, the poly pocket, the card facing up the way I want it, and then the, the die with the cutting edge face down. I'm gonna position that where I want them. Take a piece of tape to hold them into place so I get an equal frame. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my frosted plate, my magnetic sheet, and then the clear plate on top. So this is the combination I use um, when using the Gemini. 
Okay, the big reveal again. Gently open the sandwich and we'll just gently peel away low-tack tape so we don't rip the card. So now what I've got, because I've used the two circles, is I've actually got an inner piece, a frame, and also this piece again that I can use on another card project. So don't throw that away because that could come in handy for another card. So we'll pop that to one side. So I've finished all my die cutting, so we can get rid of all of that and we'll bring our card back into play. Now, as you can see, I've got the, the lovely ring there that I can attach around the outside. And for me, that little frame just on the outside just adds that little bit more dimension to the card. So how do we attach it? Because this is quite thin, it's only a half inch wide, all I'm gonna do is take a glue, it's a liquid glue that goes on blue, and then when it dries, it dries clear. So I'm doing it on the black card so you can see the white area. And then we'll turn that over. And one of the great things about a wet glue is it gives it a bit more maneuverability. So if you don't get it in the right place to start with, you can sort of slide it around a little bit. Okay. So there we go, I'm happy with that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn it over and press it from the inside because what that means, it stops it moving around. If I was to do it this way and I where the glue still wet and I push and push, I could sort of move it out of the way. So we've now got the lovely little um, outer frame. And when you look at the design of card paper, the parchment, you can do it with all of these and there's such a beautiful colorway in there. So have a look on the website for the different um, designs we have available. So now I've got options, I can take another piece of card and put that perfectly on the inside to give me my insert or the circle that I cut out, I could stick that on the inside. So I think what I'm gonna do is to do a little bit different is use the circular disc. So this time what I'm gonna do is just use the tape runner to attach to the inside and I need to make sure that I get it in the right position. So I'm gonna fold my card, and then what I'm gonna do is position that over the aperture, and then I'm gonna bring my card blank the other half into play. So that when I turn that over, that's in the perfect position for when the card is closed. So to finish off, all I wanted to do is add a little greeting, because obviously we want to send greetings at Christmas. So you could take um, an offshoot of the piece of card that I used on the other one, or if I bring that other piece back into play, so it coordinates, I can use the bottom part here. So I'm gonna use, these are our beautiful little mini word chain stamps. And on there you've got Christmas, you've got peace, you've got at, Earth, Happy, Noel, Seasons and Greetings. And what's great about the word chains is that you can mix and match. So on my finished one, I've got, um, I've just realized on my finished castle, it says greeting seasons and not seasons greetings. So that'll be an interesting one. So I think on this one, what I'm gonna do, I'll use the same ones and I'm gonna take one of our little mounts, position that on there and then we'll ink up the stamp. And these have been designed to work perfectly, especially with a smaller card. So I've got seasons, and then I'm gonna take greetings, ink that one up, and then I'm gonna just stamp that somewhere else so I've got a different colorway. Okay, so we'll pop that to one side. So, we finished with the stamps. So what I would do now is just trim those down. And if I bring in the ones I've already done, so I've now got Seasons Greetings, and I've just taken a black Sharpie and I've just edged around the outside. And then we can bring in our card and let's see if I can get this one right. So we're gonna put Seasons at the top. And what we're gonna do is just position that at the top. 
and then we'll bring greeting into play and we'll put that one just there so if I bring my other finished card in that we started off with you can see just by changing the colors how different they look well I hope you've enjoyed today's video tutorial if you have please leave a comment below um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more information, Barbara does a blog every single day. Again, all the details below. And if you like the products or want to find out more, then check out our website, claritystamps.com. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.